Good morning and welcome to New Day Northwest. Quilting by Native American tribes has been a traditional way of telling stories through art that can literally be passed from generation to generation. A new exhibit by the Northwest Indian College displays more than 30 quilts, all done by students who've spent time learning to design and craft the quilts that represent various regions in Indian country. Here to share more is Colette Keith from the Northwest Indian College. Welcome. Thank and you. student quilters Kara Jo Rataskett and Stephanie Colty. It's good to have you guys here. Thank you so much for having us. This is such a cool thing. Colette, tell me first of all about um, the cultural significance of the quilts that I might not see but mean something to someone from the community. Absolutely. I want absolutely. to learn about that. Absolutely. Thank you, Margaret. That's a great question. Um, so cultural significance of quilts is kind of like any of the art designs that we have that are endemic to our people. Um, the star quilts, and this is a study, our show is a study of five different regions in, in mm -hmm. Indian country. And so the star quilts are kind of symbolic of Plains tribes, although they're you know used all over. Um, the seminal designs, which we'll show in a minute, are kind of the bar designs with the small uh, graphic um, appliques in them. And then the Coast Salish designs, of course, are the native uh, Coast Salish regions from this country, which have the heron, the foxes, the, you know, all of the totem stuff. So, right. yeah. So if I come to the show, then I'll learn about this, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. The information will be provided Absolutely. along with the art. Yes. So the show is called Humble Stitches, Generous Quilts. How did that name come Humble to be? Humble Stitches, Generous Threads, Quilts in Indian Country, and it's from the five regions of Indian Country. Our students studied five different regions, the Plains, the Southwest, the Coastal Salish, the um, uh, Woodlands, and the Seminole Tribe in Florida. So yes, you'll see um, not only quilts, but posters of um, the academic work that our, our students did to study those different regions. That's it's quite awesome. a fabulous show. Yeah. Stephanie, you're a mom, and you're mm -hmm. also a junior at Northwest Indian College. Which one is your quilt? Tell us uh, about that and why it was one. important to you. Um, so this is the first quilt I've made. I've only, Can I touch it? Yes. I've I only if I'm allowed. <laughs> uh, sewed, like, a, what is it? A pillowcase, like in home ec, like in sixth grade. So this is the first big project wow. I've done. Um, and I'm giving it to my daughter, my youngest. She'll be 18 months this month. Um, and her favorite color is purple. And Does she like dragonflies? Yes. Um, what I, my family and I believe that uh, dragonflies are a way of our um, ancestors saying hi to us. Because, you know, dragonflies have two sets of wings. Right. And um, the second set is for, like, our ancestors and whatnot. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, Kara Jo, you're a fifth grader, correct? Yeah. How old are you? Eleven. Eleven? I can't, is this your quilt? Yes. That's amazing. I mean, I still can't do it, so I'm really <laughs> glad. Yes. Even though my mother tried to teach me. Tell me a bit about your quilt, what you chose, and why you decided to quilt at all. Um, I started quilting, quilting when I was eight, it, so... The first one I made, I gave to my aunt to honor her because she was honor and comfort her because she had um, breast cancer. So. That was a good gift. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a good gift. And then this one, I was giving up a crown for a powwow um, from Junior Miss First Nations. <laughs> and. Uh, the powwow got canceled, so I decided to put this quilt into the quilt show. I'm so glad you did. It has unicorns, for one <laughs> thing. Tell me about the significance of some of the things on here. There are stars, there are rainbows. Um, what do they mean to you? For my love of unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> we all love unicorns. <laughs> and these are these your favorite colors? Yeah. So it's pretty personal, right? When you make a quilt, it says something about the person who made it and what they want to gift forward. Yeah. Are you going to give this to somebody or keep it? I think I might keep it. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> Colette, how rare is a quilt show like this? And tell us about some of the ones we have over in this other area. Yes, thank you. This is a very unique show in that there has not been another show like it in 20 years since the University of Nebraska or the University of uh, New Mexico um, had a tribal quilt show that represented and celebrated tribal quilting traditions. And it's very rare. And um, we, it's even more rare because Northwest Indian College is a small tribal college in the whole four state region where we live now. And um, we are, the, the quilt show is actually coming from the Tulalip Satellite Campus of Northwest Indian College. So just a small number of us put on something that the University of New Mexico, a large university, wow. did 
20 years Good ago. For you. So yeah, it's attracting quite say, a bit I hope of attention. You do it next year, but absolutely. But will you try? Uh, we will try. It's a lot of work, but yes, we will try. We've already been having people ask, you know, if they could enter quilts for next year. So. That's awesome. I have a feeling this is going to grow. Okay, yes, let's take you. a few shots of the the quilts in our demo area and tell us a bit about those patterns and what they mean. So this is the it's one beautiful. that you're looking at now is a Coast Salish design, and this was done actually by uh, the Washington Stars Quilt Guild in Olympia and they have loaned it to us for the quilt show. It's really fabulous. And some of, and by the way, some of our quilts will be for sale during the show. This is one of them. Um, but this is a very large um, quilting design that has a blue heron in it catching salmon in its mouth, a fox. Um, you're seeing the raven, I believe, on screen. So yeah, it's got a lot of cultural significance and just absolutely beautiful. That and took gorgeous. ladies months and months to do this. So this would be a, pe a piece of art. Ab absolutely. I'm not yes. going to put this on my bed. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. I'm going to hang it. Yes. Okay, the one with the salmon, is that yours? The one with the salmon is actually mine. That and is gorgeous. And it's the first Coast Salish. I've done star quilts before, but this is a, a Coast Salish design with the salmon. And uh, I actually hand stitched every one of those, the quilt, uh, the quilting that I did. How long um, did that take you? It took me a couple months to do the hand stitching. And yeah, that's uh, pretty that's special too. Just beautiful. Thank and you. then the one just to the right of that, are the those ones the, the bars right. that you were describing? Exactly. And that's a seminal design from uh, a tribe in Florida. So they do more of those types. And that, you know, that may not look like a lot from just a distance, but when you get real close upon, you can see that some of the pieces are just, you know, half inch in They're diameter. Tiny, like the, the diamond shapes? Absolutely, Those yes. Those are teensy. Yes, and to do the math that goes into that and to make sure that the, it, you know, you really have to be precise and patient when you do a quilt like that. And then when these pieces are given to the next generation, yes. tell me about the, the significance of that socially, generationally. Well, you know, Kara mentioned it earlier when she said, to um, honor and to comfort and you know that's really important because we you'll see quilts given at baby showers at um, births of babies at funerals um, sometimes uh, for me I'm a Lakota from South Dakota and we have funerals where there might be hundreds of star quilts given away at one event um, just because they are such a symbol of to honor and comfort so when you guys sew them, do you work individually or work in groups? Sometimes we work individually and sometimes in groups, yeah. Um, and if you'll see at the show, and we do have a quilt catalog that everyone can take home with them at the show that shows all of the different regions. And back in the day, Tulalip, uh, their quilting ladies used to get together and work on one quilt project. It was quite fascinating. I think that would be a great sense of community. Absolutely it is. <laughs> very therapeutic. It's very therapeutic. Um, we, our quilt, um, was our quilt class? We are. We call ourselves the Northwest Indian College uh, Toilet Guild. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you work on things together? Yeah. Like that's. Yeah. Uh, we work on all our quilts in yeah. class, um, and then she, the teacher, just teaches us how to quilt, like all her tricks. You know, she's been quilting for four or five generations now. Yeah. Yeah. Our teacher Deb. So that's we amazing. Them. So each one is um, not only the the result of a lot of work, but a lot of love and yes. a lot of community yes, and meaning. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you all very yes. much. Keep quilting. Thank you. Yes. You're pretty good out of the box. <laughs> Thank the you. Humble Thank you, Stitches Margaret. Generous Threads Quilt Show starts tomorrow, February 11th. It runs through the 13th at the Tulalip Tribes Administration Building. The show is free to the public, and we have all the details on our website. Hope you'll look it up and then go out and see everybody.